the Super Smash Bros. Melee scene continues to grow with even more fan mods. That makes the game even bigger. Last year we saw the rise of the Echinea build, which I did a video where I was playing it on original GameCube hardware. But now, we got something even bigger, and that is Turbo DX. And today, like with the Akania build, I'm also doing a video here where I'm going to be playing that on original GameCube hardware using Homebrew on this SD card uh, plugged in through here. So, mm, let's get started, shall we? What is going on, everybody? This is Dylan of DSL Media, and today I am going to be playing some Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now, this is the Turbo DX uh, mod that came out for the game uh, just recently. This is a fan mod. Um, I'll be sure to have a link below in the description, because I want you guys to try out this mod. Uh, you can run this either on GameCube hardware or on the Wii, or on the Wii U, or like really just about anywhere. But today, I'm running this on GameCube hardware. Uh, I'm doing it through Homebrew uh, on the... Uh, yeah, doing it through Homebrew uh, on the GameCube. I have an SD card and an SD card adapter that's going to be running this. So, let's start right now. I also have some of my other backups on this SD card as well. And as it loads up, it should take me directly into, well, load progress, well, first I gotta load progressive scan, and then it should take me to... The game menu! And I'm gonna turn the volume down on uh, my, <laughs> on my headphones. But yeah, here you can see that I have the um, that I uh, that I have the character select screen here, and it has um, and it has some characters that you may not remember from Melee. Now, during the Akania build, we did uh, they had Sonic, they had Charizard, they have Lucas, though they changed Lucas's design here. I think to have him resemble more of his Earthbound 64 design. Uh, there was Diddy Kong. But now, they added two new characters. There's Princess Daisy. And also, if you if you listen here, they actually, they actually recorded voice lines for the characters. Yay! So yeah, that here is Daisy. Princess Daisy, and this is based more off of her classic Super Mario Land design. Kind of what, also kind of her design that was used in like Mario Party 3 and all that. And they also added Wario! <laughs> and I also like how it's like basically um, Mario's voice line, but it's Wario instead. And I think they also added voice lines to the other characters. Sonic! Yeah! Because before it just says bonus character in the Akania build. But now they got the announcer saying the characters' names. Um, but first I'll play the new characters that's been introduced. I'll start off with Daisy. Also fitting for Daisy to go up against Peach. Oh yeah, and Sonic as well. And let's see what stages they added here. Um, I think I'll play the Wario Land stage when I actually get to Wario, but let's see. There's Bowser's Castle. Uh, let's see. DK Island Minecart Madness. I'll have to do that when I'm playing as Diddy Kong. Uh, but yeah, let's see some of the, uh, new stages that they added, cause I'm curious myself. Oh yeah, there's a Fire Emblem stage. Johto, uh, I'll have to play that when I play as Charizard. Uh, going around through these stages here, but now, Yuba County Celestial Valley. I'll have to play that one. See volleyball, that was from the Akania build. Well, anyway, let's start with Bowser's Castle. Ready? Go. Uh, hold on here. Okay, so Daisy's moveset. 
pretty much the same as Peach's. I don't know if, like, I don't know if there's, like, any defense boost or attack boost that Daisy has in comparison to Peach, but she seems to be pretty much, like, the same general character, uh, that from when you'd play as Peach, so... Oh, but wait a minute, does she even have the ability to pick up... Oh, wait a minute, yes, she did. I just didn't see the veggie that she picked, that she plucked. But yeah, she picks, but yeah, she seems to pick the orange radishes instead of the, uh, instead of the white vegetables that Peach picks out. Very interesting choice. And I will have Daisy continue to use her parasol. Actually, what's, her throw move's pretty much the same as Peach. So yeah, Daisy here is essentially the same character as Peach, which I guess kind of makes sense that since, um, Daisy was Peach's Echo Fighter in Ultimate, so naturally I guess they had to keep, like, her general moveset the same. So, I think it'll be even more interesting when I get to Wario, though, because that, ho 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 ho, that'll really be something. Sorry! Although, I feel like Daisy kind of moves maybe a little bit slower than Peach does. Yeah, I'm noticing that right now. Of just playing Daisy right now. Alright, now I just gotta get back on. Although, she does fall pretty fast, I gotta say. Daisy's out. Well, actually, it's kind of equally matched right now. Yahoo! Come on, Daisy. I am rooting for you. Thwops! Or actually, wait a minute. Does the Thwops even hit you in this? Because, I mean, looking at this, I can tell that this is based off of, um, I can tell that this is based off of Super Mario World, given, like, the background stuff that's added. They, uh, they have, like, that, like, they have, like, that gate that's in the background. That was a Super Mario World background feature. But this does look like it's straight out of Melee, which is kind of the intention of mods like that. But also I think like project but also I think like Project Dem has kind of prepared things for melee mods like this. Okay, yeah, it's a carrot that Daisy plucks out. Is that like more based off of like Super Mario Land? I Oh right, I think the carrot was from Mario Land 2, if I remember correctly. So, I mean, that's an interesting little detail they added. Falco! Eat vegetables, Falco! And this still doesn't have the character victory screens. Kind of a shame. I was hoping that this, ad that this adds the character victory screens. But at the same time, I can kind of see why they didn't. Um, uh, I, that's just, like, I don't think they really focus more on that. They kind of just focus more on, on just building the character movesets than anything else. But anyway, now to play as Wario! Oh yeah, and I also should play as Lucas, the Earthbound 64 Lucas. Since I'm playing as Wario, gotta be playing Wario Castle! Okay, and he yeah, so basically Wario here, he has like that charge move from the Wario Land games. So, kind of like with the Akamiya build, I think like the extra characters like Wario is kind of made more with the mindset of if they were originally included in Melee. Of course, Wario, I th of course, Wario has to have that, that gassy burp. But yeah. 
And seeing, a, and seeing that this is based off of how Wario would be added in Melee, they gotta add that Wario Land Charge feature. Because Wario Land was... Or, sorry, not Wario Land. WarioWare was not a thing back then. Oh, no, you don't. And also, I think this stage was included in one of the Project M mods. Because, I mean, I know that I've seen this before. I've seen this before in, like, something like Smash 2 or something. Oh, wow, Yoshi's taken out already. Wario's already be being shown to be a force not to be reckoned with. And yeah, I'm even seeing, like, the Wario Land background uh, details. Like, I think that block in the background was from Wario Land 3. Well, I'm actually doing pretty good in this. I mean, this is Wario stage, so I guess it comes naturally, huh? That was my fault. God, Wario is powerful in this game. Wario's pretty cool, but I think they also kind of buffed him up a little bit. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. But now, I am going to play as Diddy Kong. And the reason I'm going to play as Diddy Kong, and I'll swap out the other CPU fighters too... The reason I want to play as Diddy Kong is because uh, I want to play Minecart Madness. Ready? Actually, hold on here. The the uh, jungle, the um, the DK rap. I think I hope. Is there like any other DK tracks? Because I want to hear something new. I guess not. Well, hold on here. Uh, maybe if I hold, like, L. Or, sorry, wrong stage. What am I... What the hell am I doing? Alright, I'm gonna look up the, uh, stage really quick. Well, actually, I'm gonna look up the, um, Smash Brothers Turbo DX mod for just a minute. Okay, so I don't know if they have instructions for that. I just checked the website. But I'm... Actually, one more thing gotta check. Okay. Kinda just okay, it's just Congo Jungle. Kinda disappointed that they didn't add like a minecart sounding track for this stage. But then again, there is other waves that's gonna be coming out of Turbo DX. So guess we'll have to wait for that. So I'll just play as Diddy Kong and I mean, Diddy Kong seems to be about the same as he was in the Echidia build. And I will just... Come on, Diddy! Damn. So I don't know if I'm gonna win this one. Also, did they change his uh, jetpack model, or is that just me? Maybe it just looked a little different than I than I had noticed previously. I mean, I will. I mean, I don't doubt that they made some tweaks to the characters in this, because I mean, I'm very certain that. Because I am very certain that. Well, they definitely like tweaked Lucas's model, which I'm also going to play during during uh during this video. Also, are those the same Bumblebee, spr Bumblebee sprites that was from, or the same Zinger sprites that was from the Donkey Kong Country games, or are these updated? Because they look exactly the same as in the Super Nintendo game. Oh, 
Well, Daisy's the only, Daisy's probably like the most surviving one, and not anymore. Of course, Diddy still has his banana snip ability. Yeah, I mean, not much else to say, really, about what else they added to Diddy Kong. Because, I mean, he's about the same as he was in the Akania build, and also in, like, and also, like, basically the same Diddy Kong that he was in, like, pretty much after Brawl, so, yeah. And, of course, it, and of course, I think they still try to keep it in the context of when the Donkey Kong Country games were out, or of when uh, Melee was out. surviving character in this. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be up against Peach. Well then again, not unless Charizard takes me out first, which he did. Yeah, I think Peach is gonna win this. And that's the end! Alright! Now for the next match. And I think I'm gonna try Lucas. Alright, and let's see, what other stages is there to try? Um... Actually, what's Celestial Valley from? Oh, from Ker- Oh, from Kirby Air Ride! Okay! I mean, of course, that was a game that came out a little bit later, but it was also in development while Melee was out. Because, I mean, that started development for the Nintendo 64. And yeah, this is... Like I said before, this is based off of... Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. This is based more off of Lucas's Earthbound 64 design. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it! Yoshi! Oh, yeah, and... Okay, yeah, he does... Alright, Lucas does have that ability. I was not crazy. PK Fire! Come on, Lucas! Samus is still the longest standing character. I have a feeling Samus is going to win this. Ah, and I did something really stupid that made me lose... That made me lose this battle. Looks like Samus is going to be the one to win this. Oh god, I almost thought that Dr. Mario was going to fall right off. And, well, there we go. That is the end of this match. So now... To play as Charizard. The reason I'm playing as Charizard... Is because I want to do... 
Oh yeah, I should also do the Fire Emblem stage too. But I'm gonna do the Johto stage at Critique City. And here we get a nice rendition of the gold and silver music. That, uh, that rendition actually works really well. Ah, man, if only the developers of Melee actually included a stage that is based off of um, Pokemon Gold and Silver. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't do that, given that, well, this game did add Pichu as a playable character. So, yeah, and also it's kind of like, because Smash 64 had Saffron City, and some of the other, like, Smash games, like, they added, like, the Pokemon X and Y stage that was in Smash 4, um, and, yeah, the, and, yeah, like, it's all surprising that Melee didn't have a stage that's based off of a Pokemon Gold and Silver specific location. So, I mean, there was Pokemon Stadium, and there was Poke Floats, which Poke Floats was kind of cool. Even though not the most tournament friendly stage, it did have, it was nice seeing all like the different uh, Pokemon floats that they had in that. But also this kind of seems reminiscent to the Zelda 64 stage from uh, Smash 64. Also, I'm looking at the background here. Did they map this to kind of be based off of Johto's world map? But then again, it doesn't really have like, any of the other town, um, any of the other town buildings or anything like that. It's just the Ecritique building, and, and that's that. It is a nice looking 3D model though. And Charizard is still really is still a really good fighter in this. Aw oh, man! Well again, now Samus needs to be taken out. Also, I just realized I didn't change the characters. Uh, the CPU characters last time around. Oh well. enough damn god damn it well okay and that's it for this match so now let's see it i want to do the fire emblem stage uh but i also want to play one of the other characters let's see i played as diddy uh haven't played as sonic yet i mean of course not counting the akinia build You know what? I'll do a stage. I'll do with Green Hill Zone for right now. Because I'm playing as Sonic, why not? I'll do Castle Siege next time. In the next match, that is. And I might play either as Roy or Mar, probably Roy. And yeah, I think Sonic's moveset here is about the same as in the Akania build. Like he does have like that Sonic Adventure charge move. Yeah. 
and I've said this before when I played the Akania build, and I'll say it again here. This is kind of this version of Sonic is based off of Sonic when uh, the Sonic Adventure games were out. So it basically has like, I mean, like it doesn't like it's not based off of his brawl move set. The melee move set that that was used here is based off of if Sonic was included when melee came out. So kind of like, so kind of like those April Fools magazines that you've seen that says that Sonic is gonna be Sonic is unlockable in melee. Like no, he wasn't, but so playing as Sonic here is pretty much what it would have been like. Also, I think it said that Tails would have been a, would have been a playable character as well. That's something I'd like to see added in another Turbo DX wave. If there's any developers of the Turbo DX mod who's watching, yeah, I'd like to see Tails added to this. See what Tails in Melee would have been like. And no, I'm not talking about how Tails was played in Project Plus, where it's like basically the same. Well, no, he wasn't the same character as Sonic. He just had like. He just had the same final smash. But that's in a whole different game. Alright, Sanic. I just gotta... No, come on, Sonic. Right here, Jigglypuff, Peach, and Daisy. And yeah, by having Peach and Daisy here on, on the same battlefield, kind of gives me more of an idea of how Daisy plays. And yeah, I think Daisy is a bit slower than Peach. Which, in hindsight, I guess it kind of makes sense. When you give, when you consider the context of this is what it might have been like if Daisy was added in melee, given that Daisy was barely much of a character um, outside of like her appearance in Super Mario Land. Like I feel like the GameCube era was kind of when we started to see more of Daisy. And also, like, this version of Daisy was the pre-Mario Party 4 Daisy. I think that's when they introduced Daisy's more modern design. Come on, Sonic. I mean, I think I should win this. Three health, uh, three stock versus two stock, though now it's, yeah, now it's two stock. Ah, okay! Well, now it's one stock again. Maybe Peach will win this. <laughs> because I did something dumb when using Sonic Spin Dash. Come on, Sonic, this is your stage. Yeah, there we go. So now, time to play as DK, Diddy, um... Oh yeah, I was gonna play as a Fire Emblem character, because I wanna do a Fire Emblem stage. Castle Siege. And it has the Fire Emblem music, which is fitting for this stage. Because like it has music from Fire Emblem, um, which was used which was used in the Hyrule Castle stage. But of course, I mean, this is basically, this is basically Castle Siege that was added in, um, that was added in Brawl. Although, parts of this kind of looks like, kind of looks more similar to Princess Peach's castle. At least, some of, like, the textures do. Actually, the textures look very similar to Princess Peach's castle. Come on, Roy! You can survive this! Not really. Yeah. 
But also, not gonna lie, I think that Roy kind of developed a bit during, um, during Smash 4 in Ultimate. But he's still pretty good in this game. Especially his counter move. That still is amazing in Melee. Huh. No, you don't. Ah, uh, get back. Yeah. I mean, I kind of have a feeling that if Melee did have more time in development, this stage might have been added. They might have done a Fire Emblem stage. Um, but also there was even debate on even including Roy and Marth in Melee in the first place. And also, uh, and there were also plans of having them cut from the North American version of Melee because, well, this was when Fire Emblem didn't even reach the United States. Like, it was because of their inclusion in Melee that Fire Emblem started getting North American recognition in the first place and why we started getting Fire Emblem games here in the States. It is all because of Melee. We have Melee to thank for Fire Emblem being here in the States, so thank you very much, Melee. Uh, come on! Okay, Falco's taken out. Now it's all down to Lugi, and he's and he's dead too. Okay, uh, anything else that I want to try? Uh, oh yeah, well, oh uh, yeah, I did play as Lucas. I mean, of course, I didn't play as Wolf in this, but also I did play as Wolf in the Akania build, and I really did not like playing as Wolf, to be quite honest. But I'm gonna see what other stages that I haven't tried. Uh, let's see here. Termini Terminia. Venom. Oh, uh, let's see. Minecraft Mad- uh, Minecart Madness. Luigi's Mansion. That was oh, included in the Akania build, so... <laughs> if you want to see what that was like, check out the video that I did on the Akania build. Uh, I don't want to do all of the Akania build stages. I wanted to do all the stages that was added, uh, that was just added to, uh, Dula to Turbo DX. Oh yeah, and then there's the special battlefield stages. There's small battlefield and big, and regular battlefield. Final Destination, Volleyball. Oh yeah, oh god, the Volleyball stage. Uh, but let's see. Well, actually... Past stages, Sector Z. Ah, the Star Fox stage from Smash 64 was the one that wasn't in the Akania build, but is present here. Ah, so here we go. And now, with this stage being included, all of the Smash 64 stages are in Melee. So, here we go, let's enjoy this. Uh, and I'm still... Wolf is still not my best character in this. I mean, I think this is based more of, like, his Brawl move set, but... I think Wolf improved a whole lot after Smash 4. Or, sorry, no, wait, was he in Smash 4? No, he was No, he wasn't in Smash 4, he was in Ultimate. He improved a whole hell of a lot in Ultimate. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Wolf in this game. Yeah, just Fox and Falco are way, way, way better to play as. You know, there's some people who's good as Wolf, but I'm just not. Da -da -da -da. 
I mean, I, I mean, at least his up B isn't bad. Come on, Wolf. He, yeah, he, Wolf, he just feels so slow in this. I'm not a fan, not a fan of playing as him. Take a leak! No. Ah, come on. Wait. Oh, I barely even saw where I was. Good blow to Link. Gotta say. But also Sonic is the one who's surviving this. Wait, why did I think I was Sonic? I gotta have Wolf survive this, and then... Yeah, his blaster is like at best maybe a stun blaster and has such limited range. And oh good, I have lost this match as well. Oh, that is just wonderful. Just very, very swell. Uh, let's see. So I think after this match, I'm gonna do one more. So now it's down to Sonic and Link. Let's see if Sonic can do this. It's like, you're too slow! Deliver the final blow, either from Sonic or Link, I don't care who. There we go. And that is the end of this match. Now it is time. Switch on over to the next 
playable fighter. It's either Jigglypuff... Well, actually, I don't know who I want to play as. Uh, so let's see. You know what? Wario was pretty good. So I'll end it with one of the new fighters. And I'll play in small battlefield. See how small this battlefield is. Oh, it is small, all right. Actually, I think it's like the size of one of the N64 battle, uh, battle, battlefield stages. Like, it's kind of that size of that one Metal Mario stage from the N64 Smash. I gotta say, that music sounds a little repetitive. But of course, Wario still has his charge. His Wario Land charge. Oh yeah, and let's not forget his ground pound. Cause, gotta have that. <laughs> yeah, just charge, charge, charge. I forget what Wario Land music sounded like, but it's probably not too far off from what from what I was doing. Come on, Toro, Toro! Olay! All right. Or no, just be like Toro, Toro. I mean, Hippo, Hippo. No, I mean Wario, Wario. Olay! God, Wario just delivers such powerful blows. I want to deliver a blow to Princess Zelda. That doesn't sound right out of context. Here we go. Alright. Ground pound. Ah! Oh, boy. I mean, I could see how Wario can be sort of un overpowered. It's possible they might need to tweak... Might need to tweak things a little bit here. But still fun to play as him. Zelda, and she's like, oh, God, gross. Come on. Okay, get back on there. Bam. Ah, uh, yes. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the Super Smash Bros. Melee Turbo DX mod. Ah, uh, yeah. That was such a fun game. Very fun mod, and yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I'm glad to see, like, more Smash Bros. mods being added, including this, and I look forward to seeing future waves, and I may even try out some other waves, too, and make videos about it. But now, let's transition to the end card, and what did you think of it? Did you enjoy this? And... Also would, you also, also, would you like to see me um, even stream this version of Super Smash Bros. Melee as well? 
let me know in the comments below, and subscribe to DSL Media for more content. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.